North Vietnamese forces around Saigon were organized into four army corps. Each was made up of three or four divisions and was given a line of approach to the city. Facing them were four South Vietnamese divisions along with remnants of an airborne division, an armored brigade, and units of rangers. As the northern attack rolled inexorably on, they had to cut Route 4, isolating Saigon from its forces in the Mekong Delta. Chuan Lak, a key road junction covering the air bases at Ben Hoa, and Tan Sanut would be seized, opening up a route to the capital from the east. The first attacks of the Ho Chi Minh campaign opened on April 9, 1975. only effective resistance to the advance took place at Xuan Lac, where for almost two weeks southern forces made a desperate and die-hard stand. The North Vietnamese threw more than 30,000 men at Xuan Lac, backed by powerful tank and artillery forces. Against all the odds, the 6,000 men of the South Vietnamese 18th Division refused to crack. In two weeks of bitter fighting, the North Vietnamese hit the defenders of Xuan Lac with 20,000 shells and rockets. Still, southern forces drove back mass infantry attacks. They killed over 5,000 NVA troops and destroyed dozens of tanks. It was to prove the last big battle of the Vietnam War. In the end, the defenders were forced to pull back. One in three of the South Vietnamese 18th Division were dead. The fall of Xuan Lac meant the road to Ben Ha and Saigon itself was wide open. <laughs> 